It's Anthony, he's from Israel, Julian. Right. Nice to meet you. You were making up, okay? You gotta speak loud, we ain't got yeah. a microphone. Anthony, what is your comment about what's happening in Syria? 3,000 Palestinians have already died in Syria, more than in Israel, in Gaza last year. 2,000 have died, unfortunately, in bad side, terrible circumstances. However, many more Palestinians have become to Syria. Do we see thousands of people going to the Syrian embassy? Yeah? Thousands, you can see that like here, going to the Syrian embassy, protest, protesting against Syria, who imprisoned that, and in Jordan, you're not allowed to be a Palestinian citizen in Jordan, Lebanon, there's discrimination against Palestinians. Nothing, no, no mass demonstrations, only against Israel. Can you answer me? Oh, absolutely. I'll be honest with you, I was outside the Syrian embassy in, 2000, in 2011. A few hundred, but not even. Some people would say to you that in the Golan Heights, Israel are helping the militants that are fighting in Syria and they're patching them back off to the battlefield. That Israel are doing a great humanitarian effort for the oh, taking you. people who are genuinely injured, bringing them into their well, own hospitals with thousands of people who, who hate Israel. Israel are going into the Golan Heights, helping, saving people's lives. Can, is that, is that, can you at least admit that they're doing a good job? Humanitarian are thing. they saving the lives of militant Islamists? Yeah. Mate, I don't know, but at the end of the day, do you think saving lives, as no. Israel are doing in the Golan Heights, isn't... I'm all about saving lives, but for me, I think Israel has made the situation in Syria worse because it suits Israel to have, lives, to have people are Syria dying in, in chaos. Syria, Israel are allowing them to come into Israel, into Israeli hospitals, under Israeli taxpayers' money, and saving them and giving vital medical treatment. And, and pa patching them back up and sending them back off to the battlefield, no? I'm sorry, it's, they're not part of Israel. Israel are doing a great job anyway by helping these people who are about to die well, and have why, no other choice. Why don't they help the people in Gaza who are about to die? Because they can't go into Gaza. Because if we go into Gaza, the international community will start screaming at Israel. Israel left in 2005. They take all their settlements, take right. everything. Goodbye, Hamas rockets. Thousands of Hamas rockets. Why don't Israel leave well, the they, West Bank now? They took, the, they took those settlers out of Gaza and put them in the West Bank. So they just took them from one part of Palestine okay, and put them into another. Regardless of that. I'm only shouting for the camera. I'm West, not West being Bank. aggressive. West Bank. Yeah. But regardless of that. Settlements, we... Israel uprooted thousands of settlements. From Gaza, but put them into yeah, to yeah, West no, Bank? Yeah, no, regardless. Thousands of settlements from Gaza into, into the mainland. Into a different part of Palestine. It is. So do you believe in a two-state solution? I don't know. It's up for the people who live there. It's not up to me. I'm so not an Israeli or a Palestinian. Do you not believe that Israel has a right to self -determine? It's up to the people who like live there. Like any other countries. It's up to the people who live there. Well, Israel, if Israel voted for... want self-determination in their ancestral homeland. Are well, they not allowed that right? They want three things. They want the whole of Palestine and Israel, they want a democratic state, um, and they want a democracy, but you can't have all three. Have a democratic state. Abbas has been sitting there from 2004, has there been any, and Hamas in Gaza from 2006. Uh, the only they, democratically elected Arab uh, okay, fine. government. Palestinian, Palestinian legislation, they, ha they have to have an election every four years. 2006, they had their election. No elections for, for Hamas. Uh, no elections in Gaza since 2006. I, call that, I don't call that democracy. You may call that democracy. Well, let's have a democracy. And, and, in the region, in Fata, let's have they, a... And also before that, they threw the opposition Fatah members off roofs. Yeah, destroyed the opposition and then had a vote. Well, let's have a and democracy from river to sea, one man, one woman, one vote. But then That's what we Israel want for the rest of the exist. world. Israel ceases to exist. The people who live there will continue to live there. But look, Anthony, you're an eloquent young man. Thank you for speaking to me. You're outnumbered today. Yeah. I really respect you for that. And I wish for peace in your country, okay? I mean that. Thank you.